Let's see if I did this right. So are we doing this Suited? on a uh, VM? <laughs> um, I'm doing it on a VM. Yeah, so, I mean, if we're using our... You can, I would probably end up doing this on a VM, honestly. Just to kind of make this easier. Okay, so if I did this right, if I did this right, uh, we should be able to type in sudo, but I'm already root, apt get install. Grid engine client. Grid engine uh, common. Uh, grid engine master. Grid engine cumon. And grid engine exec. So, so what it does, it goes ahead, it pulls out the package list and says all the dependencies, and it goes, are you sure that you want to continue doing this? And darn tootin' I do. So I'm going to say yes, I do want to continue. So what it does is then it goes out to the repository, it goes and grabs all the stuff that it needs to grab, downloads a bunch of stuff, it's the school network, so you might go for a cup of coffee while you're waiting for all this stuff to download. All right. And then goes ahead and does its own thing. So we, should, we should be doing a VM on our boxes, right? It would probably be easier if you did this on a VM. Okay. Honestly, it would be easier if you did this on a VM. All right. And this is a virtualization class, so should we know we should know how to use VM. Yes, yes. <laughs> What's a VM? Virtual monkey. It's that virtual monkey you have on your back, right? The one that the, the only one that Google and Facebook know about because they track you everywhere you go. They so, can't track me because yeah, I can't even track them. A valve. You know, you know how you move your U's and your I's and your E's. It's a valve movement. Google can't. That was so retarded. I know. All right. So it does want to do post fixes and email, right? Mail only delivered for locals. I'd say yeah. I wouldn't worry about it. So we just want to do general type. Let's just do local only when you do your email, right? Because it is going to send you updates and statuses, and you know where to find email, right? So it's just a mail name, Ubuntu. Um, let's call it Grid Engine, just so I know who it came from, right? And yes, we do want to configure this automatically because then it will make all of our files for us, and all we have to do is go find the files and then go ahead and tear them apart by hand. SGE cell name. Instructor one, right? So if I had more, I could go ahead and add to this. So I know that my master, master host name, instructor master. And then what it does, it goes through and then unpacks all of its stuff, finishes up. So make sure that your email is done local. Make sure you set your node name for whatever you want to set your pod up as, and then your master. So you've clearly identified these things in your queues. Because it's a whole lot easier to understand SGE master rather than SGE 0, 1, 2, 3, and 4. All right? But it goes through and installs all this stuff. Um, does a little bit of open SSH, does a little bit of font maneuvering as well, so it does download some of the fonts. And then it's done. So if we did this right, find everything that has to do with SGE. Uh-huh. Uh, no such file or directory. Okay, so it's in here somewhere. And we want to go ahead and see what we can do with it. Yes. All right, so we're going to have to go hunting for the actual files on this one. But no, as we go through and we try to find all this stuff, we'll just kind of take it from there and go where we need to find the configuration files. They'll be around here somewhere.
and then we can go through and we can edit and see how it went through and did all the configuration and all the rest of it. So it kind of makes sense, fairly straightforward on how to install it, and then we just need to go in and find the configuration files and then do all the commands that are in the PowerPoint to see what we've got going. So it kind of makes sense? Yep. You guys cool with this? No. Does this look like fun? No. Yeah. Does this look like the coolest thing since sliced bread? Oh, I'm no. sure it'll work like butter. There's always going to be a problem. There's always a problem the first time. There's always a problem the first time. Doesn't matter what you're doing. Okay, so the videos are up. All right, the PowerPoint is up. You have access to the websites. If you run these on VMs, it will make your life a little bit easier, right, in terms of doing all the stuff that you want to do. That way you don't lose the ability to screen cap from Windows, which we're probably going to want to show that we actually did this. And then we're in pretty good shape. So does anybody have any other questions? No? Yeah, why won't my DNS work? I don't know. I'll have to check. All right, any other questions other than DNS? What's your address? Which one? <laughs> one, two, seven, zero, zero, one. What's up, Doug? <laughs> I just got that. Yes, because then it will automatically create the files for a configuration so that you don't have to. I would much prefer that this thing make its own configuration file so I don't have to try to figure out the format later on. Anything else? Are we good? Are you happy? Happy Friday? No. No. Feel sorry for everybody that's missing class today? No. Yeah, I'm good. All right. Go to it, guys. <laughs>